Boom, boom, boom. This is Jared, and I'm back. All right, guys. Man, all right. I've got a star, okay, a kidney warrior that's a star that I'm bringing on tonight. She shines. So it's so bright, all right? I had to wear these, man. So I've got a star, all right? I've got a kidney warrior. We're bringing on tonight. We're going to get her story out there. It's going to be exciting. Okay, tonight's theme, again, all right, is how your how this kidney warrior is going to go through all right a struggle and she's going to shine okay this is a story about how she's going to grow and she's going to shine through all this struggle and this journey that she has okay when i'm doing this i'm going to bring on her special guest as well okay i'm bringing on all right tiffany joseph is our kidney warrior I'm going to be interviewing her, but I'm bringing on her special guest tonight, Jen Benson. All right. And Jen Benson, all right, is an advocate, all right, a kidney disease advocate for the transplant journey, nonprofit organization, the transplant journey. Okay. So I'm surprising you. Y'all didn't see that coming, did you? I'm bringing two people on. All right. Tiffany Joseph and Jen Jensen. All right. It's going to be lit. I hope you guys have your sunglasses because it's going to be really bright. It's going to be lit. So when I'm doing that, I'm now going to bring on with a very special intro, my very special two guests. Here we go. Give them a special welcome, everybody. Tiffany, Joseph, Jen Jensen, we've got everybody here. This is awesome, man. This is great. All right, so Tiffany, all right, from Flushing, New York, right? Flushing, Queens. Flushing, Queens, representing. We've got you here. This is awesome. Yeah, so, all right, man. Uh, So this is exciting, all right? I saw your post, um, and, you know, you – and, and I thought, man, I, I wanted to reach out to you and, and, and bring you on Warriors Quest because I really thought you'd be a great candidate to get your story out there. So thank you very much for coming on. And we've got a treat here with Jen Jensen. Now, Jen, you're, you're advocating and you work or how are you connected with the transplant journey? Because I think I didn't, I didn't introduce you very well. And I'm going to let you tell that story in a moment, but let me have the, the person we're spotlighting tonight. Please introduce yourself, Tiffany, and tell us Hi, all about your story. All right, I want to put you solo. Let's just introduce yourself. Everybody, give her a special welcome. I want to see some comments. Hold on, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you going right here with. Let's make some noise. All right, please comment. All right, please comment. Make her feel welcome. Let's get this going. Let's rock this tonight. Please introduce yourself and let's explain to everybody how the beginning happened. All right. Tell us where you're from and how you found out you had kidney disease. I am from Flushing, Queens, born and raised. Um, 
my journey starts uh, from when I was 13 years old. I was diagnosed with diabetes. Diabetes um, runs in my family. Um, my mother, my sister, um, it, 13, um, when I, you grow up with it, you, you try to deal with it as much as you can. And, you know, being so young, you're not 100% sure how to take care of yourself, especially, you know, you're young. I was young. Um, I got older, diabetes stayed with me. Um, at one point, I became uh, very overweight uh, due to depression. Uh, I got very overweight. Um, and then uh, diabetes just really did some damage. Um, when I was 26 or so, I decided to try to help myself. I did manage to get a uh, gastric sleeve surgery, um, lost 130 pounds, um, not just from the surgery itself, but from changing my mindset, changing my habits, trying to uh, get my life in order, trying to get control of my life, trying to get, because we all struggle, but I just wanted to change my mindset and, and grow. Um, I, in 2017, um, I wind up uh, having some other medical issues um, that led to me having issues with my blood pressure. And from there, my blood pressure never regained its control. As much as I tried, as much as I tried my diet and medications, the damage was pretty much done. It was pretty wow. much no going back. And mm -hmm. I tried, I really tried because, you know, I was, I was growing. I started young. I was, I didn't know what I was doing. And I was definitely trying to get myself together. Like I said, I did lose the weight. I lost a lot of bulk of it on my own, my own dieting and my own exercising. And, you know, because sometimes people feel like you get the gastric sleeve. Right. And that's it. It's, you know, it's a, it's a cheat. It's not, it's <laughs> definitely not. So much work goes into that. So much uh -huh. walking and diet changes. And there was so much that went into that. And even though I tried that, my blood pressure never came back down and never got that under control. And then over the last two years, I just lost so much kidney function. My doctor tried, you know, we tried different medications and it just went so rapidly. We did a biopsy to see if there was anything uh anything deeper or any other problems, but it was mainly the diabetes and the high blood pressure that took it out. Hereditary and, and just my genes were just kind of knocked it out there. All right. All right. So man, uh, so, you know, a lot of other warriors have had uh, some similar issues. And so any other kidney warriors that have had some problems with diabetes that led to kidney disease, please comment below because this is something that, that does go on, and that's why we get the education. We're trying to put as much information out there as possible because, man, if we can teach people and, and get people more aware of this, we can yeah. help other people. But now, so tell me a little bit about how long you've been on dialysis then. Are you on dialysis now? or I Yes, I recently okay. started hemodialysis a, a couple of months ago. So uh -huh. um, I'm very a little new to it. Um, I know a little, I knew a little bit about dialysis um, because my, my sister, my mother, they were both on it as well. Um, okay. But I didn't know until no dialysis until I started dialysis. Uh -huh. Um, I, I didn't have the education that maybe I, you know, I, I can't say, uh, I didn't know dialysis the way I know it now. It's, right. It's, it's very difficult, very traumatic. Um, I can it's only definitely imagine. life changing, super yes. life changing. I can only imagine. I've seen my sister-in-law go through it and I've, and I've interviewed kidney warriors regularly and they talk about it, but um, you know, it, it's, it's something that uh, I, I've seen how they've reacted and I, and man, I, I feel for you. I do. And so let's, which leads me to, um, we're going to, there's so much I want to touch on and I've got so many questions, but I want to bring Jen in just very briefly. So Jen, um, how did, how did you get to know Tiffany and, and how did you build a connection with her? Uh, I myself like Tiffany struggled, uh, as well. 
I am a recipient for a kidney and pancreas transplant. Uh-huh. And I was on dialysis for seven years and struggled with dialysis. I was a diabetic as well. And okay. And for over 25 years, I was a type one diabetic. So I know what she went through. I can sympathize on all angles. And that was really why I formed um, the transplant journey myself. All right. Um, all right. And wanted to help uh, patients who are going through the journey themselves and wanted to create something out there for people, uh, kind of navigate the, the system once they're told uh, they need to start dialysis and uh, look at all the angles of dialysis because there are so many different modules out there that exist um, with dialysis to find which one is best for them. And then in terms of finding which, which transplant center might be best for them when they're told um, it's time to look into finding a transplant center. Um, Tiffany and I were brought together through a good friend of mine and okay. we've now kind of uh, taken on the search of finding her a kidney donor. And um, I had my transplant at Columbia and that's now where Tiffany is listed. From Richard. And um, that's why well, you guys have everyone... a lot in common. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. We, oh, are, yeah. we, are, we are truly transplant warriors. And yeah. everyone, everyone can see at the bottom of the screen. Um, uh huh. If they're interested in being a donor for her, um, the number is rolling down at the bottom. It says Columbia University with the number that they can call to consider being um, tested to be a possible donor for her. Right. Um, and it also lists the blood type. However, that's not necessarily a given that they have to be a possible match for a blood type. Um, right. They can just consider They can just consider possibly being tested. That's not always an absolute match that they have to be. Uh, well said. So, you know, in fact, uh, I say it all the time that the paired exchange program needs to be talked about so much more. It Absolutely. Does, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we need to emphasize it so much because, you know, we sometimes get fixated on just the donor blood type. But, you know, Correct. if you're not the right blood type, everyone, um, still come forward and apply because uh, the, there are so many different procurement and, and different organizations that will help the transplant hospital find a match and that the paired exchange program will work. Uh, and it actually, in many cases, statistically will speed up the time for Tiffany versus Correct. having to wait the average of five to seven years, as many people yeah. say. Especially in the New York area. New York. Yes, yes. Well Very populated. Long. Yeah. New right. York, we, need, we need to step up our game, New York. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can only imagine with as much uh, as it's populated. Sure. So, um, man, that's, that's, you know, that, that's very, very admirable. So, so you're saying that, uh, that you're, uh, uh, you did a sim it was a simultaneous sort of, uh, transplant for you, pancreas and kidney, or did you get them separately? No, I, I received my organs from the same donor at the same time. Okay. All right. Very cool. You know, so it, it eradicated my um, diabetes and my, yeah, my kidney disease. Yep. All right. All right. I was just going to ask about that because, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, because uh, you were, if you were type two and you had, you know, a, a pancreas transplant, then you no longer have to worry about the diabetes now. Is that what you're saying? I, I was actually a type one. Oh, um, type so one. I, I was type one, but I, I no longer require insulin shots. So All right. It's, it's fantastic. Yep. Okay. So it's literally a new lease on life for you then. 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. 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 All right. So, so Tiffany, um, man, how does it feel to have Jen on your side and, and have so much in common with her that, you know, that she uh, understands where you're coming from and, and, and she's been through it already. I honestly feel blessed. I feel like, Somehow the universe just put her in my life. Uh -huh. um, I learned a lot from Jen. I learned uh, so, so much stuff that no one really teaches you. And, I, and this is where the education part uh, comes in. No one teaches you a lot of this stuff behind the scenes. And Jen has taught me so much. And she, she pushes me to, to keep going. 
to dig deeper, to look for more, to uh -huh. do more. And I, I just feel so, so blessed, so lucky to have met her. That's awesome. I, I really do, Jen. I, thank you. I appreciate you. Same thing with That's you, Jared. Nice. This opportunity to have right now, I'm, I'm so grateful. So grateful because dialysis is, is so hard. It's so hard. And, and you feel so alone. I, I felt, I, I, even though I have family members who went through it, everybody's story is different. It is. Everybody goes yeah. through a different struggle. And to right. have someone who has been there and who has gotten this blessing of a donation and got that second chance, it gives you such a hope that you don't see. And, and she pulled me through quite a few, some, some days, some days when I, I really was down. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. Like Steve just mm -hmm. said right here, that's why we do what we do. Yeah. You know, uh, it, that's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. You know, because uh, I, I don't believe in coincidences. You know, I don't because of my faith. I believe that God has uh, a, his hand in everything we do. He sees us and he's acutely aware of what's happening with us in yeah. our lives. And so mm -hmm. for him to, to line you guys up and have you connect like that, I mean, I just feel like that's not a coincidence, you know, and definitely not. Uh, yeah. And because it, what definitely happens not. is. You know what happens? This is the beauty of it. And kidney warriors watching um, again, please comment because the cool thing that happens, uh, Tiffany, you probably already know this, is that when we have uh, kidney warriors that have, are currently going through what they're what you're going through, or have been through it, even though like a snowflake, all right, every every kidney warrior is like a snowflake where there are a bunch of snowflakes out there, but each every, each and every snowflake is going to be different. So each story mm -hmm. may be just a yeah. little yeah. similar, but they're all different. Okay. And even though there's Definitely. that difference, even though there's that difference, what happens is that when we come together as a big kidney disease community, all right, it does make you feel less alone. It makes a you feel less alone. Mm -hmm. And then when you've got yeah. somebody, all right, who has understood, okay, what it's like to be on dialysis, all right? When someone understands because they've been on dialysis before, even it, maybe it's not even, you know, um, in center, maybe it was home hemo, okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever it might be, but they've been through dialysis. And then they they actually make you feel like, man, they know, a, they can relate to me, yeah. you know? And there's a, a, there's a lot of common ground when we come together. And that's the beauty of doing this show. And I love doing this show because, we can have people support you and they, all right, they can, we can stand arm in arm, hand in hand and be a big united front because we're, we know a lot of them know exactly how you feel and a lot of them want to support you tonight. But yeah. um, so, so tell me a little about, okay, the, you know, you, you, you talked about a couple things that I, I wanted to touch on Tiffany is that mm -hmm. the education. Okay. And that you weren't, aware of how hard it was going to be no. now i get i get it okay to a point that doctors don't want to scare you all right yeah. i get it i get it to a point i do all right because oh, yeah i i do i get that but uh, there is also a line where i think that there should be more education okay and it could be to your advantage if they are direct to you in regards to hey this is gonna this may bring you down to your knees, you know, and they may, oh, yeah. if you, you know what I mean? If there, if there is somebody that's very direct with you, then it, yeah, it's going to be hard. And, and you may be scared at that point, emotional, like, what is this doctor saying to me? But, you know, I want to hear from other warriors too, in regards to what they've heard from doctors and how they were told about kidney disease, please comment below, because I, I just feel like well, there needs to be more education. You know, um, you know, it's like we I have, we have like workshops for marriage, right? You know, mm -hmm. hey, go to this workshop, uh, you know, and learn about how it is to be married. But, you know, th there are certain things that, that you can go to to learn about marriage, okay? And I know I'm getting off subject a little bit because it's not the same thing exactly, but I just feel like there should be more education. Um, so if we, yep. when you were told about kidney disease and that you're, oh, well, let's back up a little bit. So your diabetes, OK, mm -hmm. we we learn about how diabetes can be really hard on the kidneys. And what when you found out that you had diabetes, was the education not there about what 
could happen if you didn't, you know, take care of yourself? Or what did they tell um, you? Honestly, I was 13. At mm, 13, right. um, yeah, normal 13 no one, you don't understand. You know, yeah. when you're young, you don't, you don't think 30, 15, 20 years down the line that this, this, and that, whatever's going to happen to you because no one's putting that emphasis on there. They're just telling right. you, hey, do this, do this, do this. Uh -huh. There's no, they don't break it down to you. Yeah. And in, in a way that I could have understood. Okay. And I, I think if they simplified it a little bit more, if they, you know, n n tell me why. It, it's like you, you still, at the end of the day, yes. I'm 13, I'm still a child. Break it down. Right. Tell me more. Yeah. Show me pictures. I don't know. Give me a video. Mm -hmm. um, something to where maybe. If I was a little more educated, maybe this would have been a different a different conversation would have been happening right now. Right. You know, and many others feel that same way. And I'd like to yeah. um, I'd like to have more people comment. And and also, uh, if you feel the same way or if you've had a similar experience about how you wish you would have had more uh, directness or somebody that give you more education about your mm -hmm. diabetes or high blood pressure, please comment. So. You know, I, I think, Jen, Jen, please um, yeah. give me give me a little bit of what you think about that. I think I, I was diagnosed when I was 11 um, with mm. diabetes. Uh -huh. And I think you also feel as though you're untouchable. Okay. Very untouchable. Uh, All right. mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I think you, you go with the mindset of it's never going to happen to me. You mm -hmm. also don't believe uh, that you, you don't see yourself as reaching 30. Um, it's you a know, long it's, ways away. Yeah, it's a, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a long way. Away. <laughs> oh yeah, you right. Know, yeah, you're you're thinking ahead to the milestone of oh, when I get 16, it's my driver's license. When I turn 21, it's it's going to be this milestone. It's you never see mm -hmm. yourself getting there, and it's mm -hmm. it's again, it's you're untouchable. You're invincible. Mm -hmm. um, you're so tough. It's it's not going to affect you. So I think that's also the mindset. Oh, I can beat it. It's not going to touch me. Um, right. You're, you're yep. too tough. Definitely. So I, I think it's also a bit of that mentality. Uh -huh. um, or it's also, I, I, guess I believe I have the mindset of, oh, um, there'll be something out there by the time I get that, I get to that point. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. So, um, and it was everyone else's story um, that, oh, they're going to be affected. It's, I'll be fine. So I, I, I shrugged it off. Um, mm -hmm. so it was, I, I was, I was just, I was better. I was better. That was, that was me. Okay. And I that... think also fear, like, especially when you're, you're getting these little vials of insulin and you have to take these needles and it, it's, it, it's scary. Cause I, I, when I was younger, I was uh, type one. Okay. And it's so it's it's scary, you know. Sure. You you're not sure what you're doing, and then they show you what to do, but you're not sure what to do. Like you don't mm -hmm. know, you don't fully understand mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you're doing. Mm -hmm. And 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 also, Jared, going back to um to talk about the education aspect, I would take it back to I think nowadays, um, unfortunately, on the healthcare system, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that. Doctors, you really only have, if you're lucky, 20 minutes with a doctor. Oh, um, yes. right, so, right. So yes. it's very difficult to be properly educated on what's out there and what you need to be doing and, and being able to spit out um, your needs, your wants, what you need to address with the doctor, mm -hmm. and then what they need to teach you and educate you properly on how to address the issues that you have with, with the doctor. That's a good point. That's a good mm -hmm. point. So I think that's where the system falls a little short, to be honest. No, that's a good point that you feel like sometimes maybe they're in such a hurry because maybe mm -hmm. they have so many, so many patients to, to, to look at and, and, and to so many inter, you know, appointments and stuff that sometimes yeah. maybe mm -hmm. they feel like they're rushed. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the, so right now you're going to dialysis three times a week. Uh, for about four hours a session and mm -hmm. it's in center. So have you, have you thought about maybe a different modality? Like from, have you thought about maybe doing home hemo and, and maybe um, oh, bringing yeah. it a home a little bit? Oh yeah. 
Um, I, I'm attempting to go to PD because hemodialysis has been taking its toll. All it right. is very, very, very difficult mm -hmm. to do. It, okay. it makes, it drains you. Um, I am attempting to do PD, trying a different type because I, I just want to see if I can function just a little bit better on PD. I heard a little bit about it. Um, Janet's given me a little education behind it. Uh -huh. So it's, it's definitely something that I'm looking into. Uh, uh, just a tad bit more freedom. Um, yeah, because it's like you're stuck in a chair for four hours. There's so much I could be doing with that time, especially now. It's so valuable right now. Um, so yes, PD is definitely an option. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. So you know, the peritoneal, I've heard from others uh, that have said similar things that, you know, that that's been a good fit for them over home hemo. So, mm -hmm. so do you have a catheter now and you don't have a fistula? I have a fistula. Okay. Um, I'm looking, you know, I just, I spoke to my doctor recently and uh, we're working on getting me the catheter for the PD and getting that whole right. process started. Okay. Yeah, I've heard really good things again. I've, I've interviewed other kidney warriors that do PD and they feel like because they're doing it while they're sleeping, you know, that they feel like they do have control that way. And so there, there are some really great things about that, you know. And so I commend you for looking at something maybe that will give you more control because many warriors that I've, I've interviewed, one of the things that, you know, that, that has been the biggest sort of uh, shock to them is that there are so many different things that they can't do like they used oh, to yeah. do, you know, and so by having a little bit of control goes a long way, you know, and so if you can do dialysis at home and have a little bit more control, then, you know, and if it's a good fit for you and you make that decision, man, I, I think that'd be wonderful if that gives you more control. I hope so. Awesome. I really yeah. hope so. Yeah. So we've got... I, I think, Jared, it's, it's really important for patients to really, if they can, prior go to the dialysis centers and look at all the different modalities that exist with dialysis mm -hmm. and really see which one is the best fit for them and their mm -hmm. lifestyle. Um, I, I can't stress that enough because there are That's several, there are several modalities out there now um, that work with them and their schedules and, and um, especially um, with the lifestyle that they lead and, and their dietary habits too. Right, right. You know, so one of the things that many warriors tell me is that when they, when they're able to do the dialysis at home, is that uh, whether it's home hemo or PD, that they've felt a little bit more refreshed. They have a little more energy than when they did it, what than when they did in center dialysis and dialyzed there. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you know, and so if if. If that means that you've got a little more energy, a little more control, you know, and you find what the modality that works for you, that's great. And Jen, you make mm -hmm. a good point because, you know, one of the other things I think that maybe it goes along with education is really just making sure that each uh, kidney disease patient knows the differences and can make a, a good decision on what modality is going to fit them the best, you know, mm -hmm. because, you know, one person at PD may be great. You know, but one person may say, hey, I already have the fistula. Maybe I'll just stick with home hemo, you know. And so mm -hmm. there are different yeah. different reasons why something may fit for someone else uh, and why someone would choose one or over the other. But um, so have they, Tiffany, who um, has maybe spent some time talking to you about the different modalities? Um, did you get that information directly from your transplant coordinator, from your from your nephrologist or or did you um, get any information about that from in center where you're doing dialysis now it was a combination of uh of of things um I, it was a little information from jen it was um my in my dialysis center trudy they, okay. they gave me a little background about it because I, I guess because i've been suffering from really terrible insomnia i haven't been able to sleep for so long oh my god and I i've been so, so wiped out I, I it's so hard to function i'm attempting school and it's it's so hard to function yeah. and i mentioned that i brought it up to my dialysis team and you know they mentioned that maybe 
trying PD would be a better and a little slightly less harsh option for me to try, to mm -hmm. try to get a little more control, to try to, uh, like you said, refresh myself just a little bit, because I, yeah. honestly, I haven't slept in so long. It's amazing that I'm even functioning now. It's so <laughs> difficult. <laughs> it's so difficult. Yeah. It's so di I'm up doo -doo 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 -doo, like just sitting there. What you know, and, and, and staring and, in the darkness. It's it's and I'm not it's, laughing it's terrible. It's, I'm it's not terrible. laughing because it's funny. I'm just I'm laughing because I've I've interviewed other kidney warriors that have said nearly the same thing and yeah you know it's it's it, insomnia can be extremely frustrating you know oh, and yes. so, man i feel for you i do i i really really do because there's nothing more frustrating than not being able to sleep well so and being in pain oh and my God. cramping <laughs> the cramps are something like nothing i've ever felt before uh -huh. cramping and pots and that i i didn't know that you could cramp in certain areas. It is, this is new. Yeah. I didn't know. It's so hard. And you're sitting yeah. there screaming, and it's it's, uh -huh. it's 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 a doozy. The hemo yeah. is definitely a challenge, a serious challenge. Now I've got some other kidney warriors that are commenting here, and so I want to I want to spend just a brief time um, thanking Mindy. She's been commenting quite a bit. Thanks for watching, Mindy. She says I can't have officially. I have a catheter did in center then PD, I'm doing uh, in center now again. And so um, she yeah. also put in here, um, I have so many sleepless nights, it's driving me insane. Oh, no. So she- Oh my God. Yeah, oh, she yeah. feels it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely so, a challenge. So um, one of the things that uh, Steve, uh, who's a registered nurse and um, Steve Belcher is a part of the Urban Kidney Alliance and Urban Health Outreach Media Network. He's mm -hmm. he's asking how much fluid uh, are they taking off when you're in center? Um, we do three, depending, like if I go on the weekend, because a part of dialysis is part of being a kidney patient, uh -huh. um, you have to be mindful of your fluids. And that's been a challenge for me as well, going from being told your whole life, oh, drink as much water as you can, drink as much fluid as you can. and to here, three cups is your max. And um, yep. I've been having some trouble, especially on the weekends with, with controlling myself. I'm working on that. I'm working on it. All right, um, all right. I, I definitely am because I take this very seriously. This is important. Um, yeah. But they take about two, eight, or three uh, max because after three, I, I cramp. So three is usually the max. Yeah. All right, all right. So it looks like we've got a beautiful friend watching right now, uh, right now, hey. Deja Gray. Thanks for watching, Deja. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. My support. I, I tell you, this has been such a traumatic experience for me, and the 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 support that I'm getting from the the people around me is really helping me as much as possible. This is so difficult. I, I didn't understand how hard dialysis was going to be. I really had no idea how hard it was going to be. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Absolutely. We we all want to come together. You know, we've got Clara O'Quinn watching. Um, we've got many people here that are chiming in. Lisa Baxter from the Lisa Baxter Show. Thanks for watching and, and chiming in and giving your uh, support. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Lisa, Lisa Gee. Thanks for watching, Lisa. Um, so Jonathan Trailer, you know, my homeboy Jonathan Trailer's watching. Thanks for watching, Jonathan. Jonathan Trailer has gotten a kidney transplant um, very recently. And he was on, yeah, he was on this Warriors Congrats. Quest show like three weeks ago, maybe three and a half, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm a little off, but maybe probably the most four weeks ago. It's, it was in August, all right? I'd have yeah. to look back to be specific, mm -hmm. but he was on my show very recently and then and, and then he had his kidney transplant after he was on my show and so wow he, it's a good story um and jonathan uh, you know I, I've, I've got a lot of love for you and your family thanks for tuning in but anyway and so we've got um maybe i already showed this so she's saying she feels you fluid restriction is so hard drinking for seven years to hydrate that kidney to almost nothing yep. now it's it's very almost nothing. yeah 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 so a lot of the kidney warriors can, uh, understand and can relate, which is good. Again, it's so important that you feel like other people understand and get you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
And that's what I love about this show is we have many people that understand that because as she puts it, we're all family and we are family. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I, uh, and uh, so thanks, Jonathan. So, so Jen, tell us a little bit about maybe um, how you're able to give her support because she's made some great comments about how you've been able to lift her up and how you've been able to help. What are maybe, what are some ways that maybe you've been able to do that? Whether that's maybe sending her a text of encouragement or maybe just giving her a, you know, an add a girl or something. What have you, how have you been able to do that a little bit? Uh, well, I feel, you know, personally, I feel that in the medical community, they're so knowledgeable um, because of their training, their background, all the school they've been through. Mm -hmm. But unless you've walked in the shoes, um, mm -hmm. you can't really relate. Right. And, I agree. And that's another reason why, why I formed, you know, the transplant journey. Mm -hmm. And what I've done in, in doing this is I've pulled together a group of amazing um, mentors who have all, who are really all transplant warriors themselves. Mm -hmm. And based on their experience, they are guiding other people, um, patients and caregivers um, to help encourage, based on their knowledge and their experience, other people who are in the same position. And they're helping to guide people who are walking their journey as mm -hmm. well. And through calls, through emails, through Zoom. Um, we're all looking to provide support, knowledge. Okay. Um, whether it's um, just a little, a little note, a little pick me up, um, any type of support in, in any regard. Um, that's kind of what we've been doing. And so Tiffany, I've been talking, we've been talking about um, how to do posters, how to do flyers, magnets for the car. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Those are great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and really anything, um, simple things like, you know, Hey, do we have an Instagram? Uh, let's, uh -huh. let's get busy on that. Talking about maybe TikTok. um, really ways to get the word out, All right. spread awareness for her, um, things we can do for okay. photos and really just, uh, you know, I consider myself an open book. I tell her the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. The that whole I've been truth. Right. Everything. Yeah. The whole <laughs> truth. <laughs> yeah. The whole yeah. Truth. All right. Straight yeah. with her. Okay. Yep. <laughs> very straight, very honest, uh -huh. very open. A lot of information that I didn't know that maybe people should actually know. Um, yeah. Jen has filled me in on a lot of that. Um, so I, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And this is like, like we were mentioning all before, you know, education, education, knowing, knowing even the basics, the stuff that yeah. should be basic, you know, you're not taught. Right. Yeah. You're right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, Bridget, uh, Bridget's commenting here. I left on there to remind myself to, to thank her for watching. Um, she's been watching some of our shows on the urban health urban health outreach media network and thanks for watching please continue to watch and connect with me connect with any of these other kidney warriors but we want to make sure that she feels included and that she feels support as well um, you know you brought up some great things I wanted to touch on one of them and because it got me to think a little bit about some of the things that I've done myself to help some of the people I've advocated for um, one of the things that I found, and I've sent this information to some other people, and I wanted to say thank you to Naisi. Is that how it's pronounced? Uh, uh, Nisi. 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 Okay, thanks yeah. for watching, Nisi. Julia Stanford, thanks for watching. My big sis, such an am amazing example of strength. Look at you, pillar of strength, Tiffany. Look at that. That's yeah. awesome. Yes, but, she is. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm trying. Yes, you are, and it's not easy. Uh, but you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna get as much support and recognition tonight as possible. And I I failed to to mention. Thank you for watching, Donna Tassat. Um, thank you for watching. You know, uh, she's a great friend of mine that I've met with my twin brother online. And she, Nick Sauter, uh, is her uh, her brother in law who is a kidney transplant recipient himself. And I think you are connected with her as well. Is that right, Jen? Or Yes. Yeah. Yes. So Donna, uh, Donna is an amazing advocate. Amazing yes, she advocate. is. Yes, she is. Um, we've got other people watching too. Mark Rodriguez is a double transplant, uh, double lung transplant 
uh, trans uh, recipient. Thanks for watching, Mark. But anyway, the, what I was tr trying to say, and we've got so many comments here, I'm, it's going to be hard to catch up. I'm going to try to before I lose my, my train of thought. But um, one of the things that I did for some of my kidney warriors that I advocate for is that there, and I can send you the link um, to either one of you, but there's a, there's a company that will give you five T-shirts for free. You can customize your T-shirt and have it read and put a graphic on it, and they don't charge you a dime. It's there you go. There you go, Tiffany. Wow. There you yeah. go. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. we got to look into that. Yeah, I'll, right, send you, I'll send you the link. I was trying to multitask, produce the show, and get my email, but I, um, I don't know that I'm that coordinated right now, but I'll send you the link. Um, it's mm -hmm. designateacher.com, something like that. I uh, wanted to put it in the comment section as we're watching, but I'll probably have to put it in the comment section after the show. But um, it's five free T-shirts. I was skeptical in the beginning when I found out about this. I actually ordered five, and, and they delivered it to me, and I didn't have to, I didn't have any charges at all. Now there are some things you have to go through to get them for mm -hmm. free, like there's a code and stuff, and I'll I'll explain that all later. But I'll send that to you. Um, so that's just one more thing that maybe may give you. Another thing that you may not already be doing because it sounds like you and Jen are doing some great things, Instagram, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and some other things. And and then you're doing Warriors Quest tonight, which is awesome. Yes. Um, thanks for doing yes. that. Yeah. Thank um, you so much for the yeah. opportunity to even try to tell my story. Absolutely. You know, we've got we've got a lot of people commenting right now, and your the support is is just coming in, Tiffany. Uh, it's awesome. Thanks for watching, Bella. Bella is a kidney transplant recipient herself. Um, and then uh, we've got we've got uh, your homegirl um, Deja is saying thanks so much for having my sister Bestie on your show. You're welcome. Yeah. It's, and uh, deserving of kidney tearing up just watching. And oh, what a, oh my gosh, that's going to get me emotional. Um, yeah. So one of the questions I wanted to ask, and it's it's not too hard of a question, but it's a good one, is that mm -hmm. what are some, what is, what is one of your fears with kidney disease, Tiffany? And so that we can, you know, like I told you offline, um, I always tell my wife I'm not going to watch The Bachelor or The Blatch Bachelorette, and, and you know I, I do. I tell her, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, you know. And then all of a sudden she watches it. I look at the corner of my eye, and then and then all of a sudden, and, and then they always have like this villain that's on the season, you know. And I'm like, why did you believe that guy, or why did you believe that girl, you know? And I get sucked. <laughs> you know? But what I'd like to do, um, I want to ask you that, not to put you on the spot, but just so that we can have people get to see you and so that they many of them that aren't many of the people are familiar with kidney disease okay and they have they're either caretakers or they their loved yeah. their siblings or their their family and they know by proxy yeah. but those that aren't i'd like to have them understand through your words what maybe your fear is through this disease not I have a few things. I have a, I have a few fears. Um, I, I have my family who I love, who I, you know, cherish with. That's all I have. That's my support, my everything, my world. You know, my family, a couple of my friends, and not being around. Uh, kidney disease taking me out. Because uh, it's hard. It, it, it's hard. I, I'm, I'm scared to lose my battle with kidney disease. I don't want it to take over everything. It has been doing that so far and I, I'm really trying to keep standing strong. I, I just, it's a lot, it's a lot. There's, 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 there's a lot of things, a lot of fear, not being here for my family and my friends due to kidney disease. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a big thing, you know, my family depends on me and not being there for them because the kidney failure it's, it scares me it scares me a lot well thank you for for uh, being candid about that i know it may not be easy to answer and um you know for those that aren't familiar with kidney disease Excuse it's me. no it's, it's uh, hard take your time it is uh, i can only imagine how difficult this must be for I you i didn't expect and, it to be this hard i really didn't mm -hmm. i didn't expect it to take me away from 
family gatherings and, and I know we can't gather now because of COVID, but it's so limiting. Right. It's restricting. It's, yes. It plays on you mentally and physically and not having the energy to do the basic things that I want to do anymore because you're cramping or you can't sleep and you feel like you can't move. You mm -hmm. feel trapped. Yes. And as strong as I try to be, I feel trapped. That's like it. I can't move. And I've always been a free spirit. I've always been one to always look on the bright side and to try to help others and and just try to be the glue to my family. But how can you be the glue when you're falling apart yourself? And it's becoming very, very hard. And I just I just want my life back. Amen. Amen to that. Uh, you know, and so everybody who's watching, you know, please understand that. Uh, and I I'm so appreciate sorry. I'm sorry. No, you, there, you do not have to say sorry. You don't. The only thing that has to say sorry is kidney disease because kidney disease is making you feel this way. And so yeah. what we do is we're going to kick kidney disease right in the, all right, I was family, family, family friendly. I had to stop. But, okay, we're going to make this work for you. Now that I've, I've asked you a somewhat hard question and I, and I appreciate you being candid, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to lift you up. OK, because, again, I can only try to imagine since I don't have kidney disease and I've only seen my my sister in law go through it. And I've only interviewed kidney warriors and they've explained to me how hard it is. What I can say is that I know without a shadow of a doubt, I know that God loves you. I know that oh, he's yeah. acutely aware of what you're going through. And I know that we can be united together as a kidney disease community to get this word out there for you. There are yeah. so many people watching this show right now. Um, we've got we've got Travis O'Quinn watching. Tiffany, thanks for sharing your story. We've got uh, thanks for watching, Travis. We've got Janae watching. You'll never know how proud of you I am, my big sis. So uh, she's watching. We've had. Um, we've had, I'm going to bring one more on here that I didn't see before. Um, this is long, but she says, I don't know anymore. I don't, I don't anyone more. I don't know anyone more genuine than you. You've always been such a good person from the time we were teenagers. I truly love you. And I pray that a donor helps you. You know, I will be there for every step of your journey. I love you, my sister. And thanks for having Tiffany on your podcast. It helps because it helps her find the angels she needs to save her life because I need her. Thank you. In the Thank you, team. I love you. Thank you. Yes. So again, now I'm going to spend some time bringing, building you back up because the support is overwhelming right now on this show. Um, we've got uh, Bella. Thanks for, for tuning in again. She is so full of love and she has so much, um, so she is such a great spirit. Bella does. And she says, thank you, Bella. Yeah, Tiffany, trust me, hon, you can get through this. I was a cop and still working in the department. When she had when she was when she was struggling with dialysis, she was she was a cop and still working in the department. She says, I know it's hard, but don't allow the enemy to get you in that place. Definitely I would not. she would love to mentor you as well. The more people that you get connected with tonight the more support you feel. And that's the beauty of the kidney disease community. And don't be sorry. You, you go. You know, and she's saying she's giving you support right here. And I love it. Okay. Thank you I, so much, Bella. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. And she mimics what I just said. God will never leave you or forsake you. It's normal to be afraid. And because there is the unknown, the mystery that can be very scary. Okay. Um, it can be. But he does have you, you know, he will stand by you no matter what. Uh, Bridget saying, lean on God, keep him close. He will put, pull you through this. So we've got such amazing support I tonight. I do. Yes. That's been getting me through those hard, hard days. And uh -huh. there's been many. This is definitely, I, I appreciate everyone for, for even looking at this cat podcast and all the all the love and support it helps yeah. me so much it helps it really does it does help so please don't be stingy please share this broadcast 
All right, because the more we share, the better opportunity we have to get this out there to the masses so that people can see her message because that's what we want, okay? And all, uh, every Facebook, everybody on Facebook averages about 314 friends, some more than others, okay? All right, and if we all share, okay, on an average, one person has the opportunity to share to have 314 if you get that average of only 314 people. And then you have one person that shares that has maybe 4,000 friends. Five, We cap out at 5,000 on Facebook. Instagram, you can go more. But, you know, Facebook, you cap out at 5,000. But you get one person who has 5,000, and then you get a better opportunity. So we want to share this as much as possible so we can get our story out there. So please don't be Stan J. Let's get this out there for yeah. her. Please, All right. please. So this is how we roll. That's right. This is how we roll. Okay, Jen, we definitely help you. Uh, we will definitely help you. And we've got Mindy chiming in again. Thanks, Ben. She's been so great tonight. Thanks for being so, so, uh, so helpful tonight with your comments. People, please continue to comment. Let's get this place buzzing with comments. Okay, because the more comments, the more Facebook will show this. The more sharing. And the more engagement we have, the more comments, the more it's more visible with Facebook. So please continue to comment and share this. Um, Lisa Gee, man, thank you again. No one should have to go through this alone. Amen to that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Tiffany, you know I got your back. I continue to post your link for a new kidney. Thanks, Norm, for thank watching. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, you know, a great interview. You're welcome, Jonathan. So, you know, I, I, I do this because I, I have so much passion for helping people. Um, again, I through proxy, I saw what it did and what it has done to my sister-in-law. Okay. Um, my sister-in-law wrote something on Facebook back in 2016. And my sister-in-law is very private. She doesn't hmm. post much. In fact, I don't even know if she's ever posted anything after this post that I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> she's very private. So when she did, okay, it stirred something within me to help others. And, mm. and especially after mm. she got a kidney transplant, I knew that I could just stand still and watch my, my brothers and sisters, you know, be sick. Uh, and I couldn't help. I, could, I can't stop and, and not do anything to help my brothers and sisters that need this message out there. And so I, I want to let other people know about this. So. All right. So if you, and in fact, uh, as a registered nurse, Steve Belcher is a wealth of knowledge. If you have any questions about dialysis, he's able to answer them. Um, okay. He's great. And, he's, you know, he's great at getting back to you. If he's, if he's busy, he'll reach out to you. Uh, so we've, we've, we, we're, we're continuing to have comments in here. Um, awesome and touching interview. It is um, because you know, sometimes we, we interview people and there are certain things that they say that just, you know, make me want to get, that just connect me. And your story, you know, from the very get-go when I saw you post something, and I'm forgetting what your post was, but it sparked actually the theme I made. And I'm trying to remember your post yeah. deliberately, but your post made me think of the theme that I wanted to call, call and, 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 and make the title for this broadcast tonight. And... And it, so sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll see posts and I'll see people doing, um, you know, saying things or asking questions in, in the Facebook groups for kidney disease related groups. And then, you know, and, and some, some will say, hey, I got to help this person. And mm -hmm. I, I'm glad we're doing this together. But um, it's it's also it's good that we're coming together with many people here tonight. But please, Kate, help us. Help us understand, all right, a little bit more about your your family and your support system. We've talked about Jen here, who's been a great advocate for you. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about how it's helped that you have so much in common. Um, so there is, unfortunately, there are some down days. But again, I want to mm -hmm. focus on the, um, I want to focus on, like I said before, the lifting you up part, okay, for the rest of the interview. I'm going to do mm -hmm. that, all right? And yes. help, help me understand, all right, 
how much support and what they do when you have a down day. What has family done? What has maybe a sibling, cousin, auntie, or maybe a bestie? Give us a little bit of an idea of how they've lifted you up on maybe a day where you feel fatigued or wiped out or you haven't slept much. My family's so supportive. I have... I, I don't know how I would make it without them through the days that I have been really, really down. Um, my sister, she, like I mentioned that she has uh, a little bit of, she has some experience with dialysis herself. And, um, you know, she gives me a little information or, or tips on how to try to alleviate some of the pains that I go through. Um, you know, they, they, they try to help me up around the house a bit and, um, I have some great friends as well who um, try to keep me hopeful, and, you know, and that's the thing. I, 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 people try to keep me hopeful that this is not it. You know, as much as dialysis takes over your life, they try to remind me that there's still other life, mm -hmm. and to live it out as much as possible, and to appreciate those moments. You know, I, I definitely appreciate all the moments that you know. Sometimes I'll have a. a a bad week or whatever, I'll post something on, on my Facebook and then uh, my friend Katima or Deja or whatever, they'll hit me up and say, hey girl, what's going on? Or try to, you know, pull me out for a moment and try to pull me out of the slums because like I mentioned, dialysis definitely, and kid not even just dialysis, kidney disease itself mm -hmm. um, is very draining and it definitely plays on you on an emotional and physical way. So I, my family and friends, they definitely, uh, they definitely, they, they build me, they, they help me, my, my aunts, my cousins, you know, little comments that they'll make or a text here and there to say, hey, I love you. Nothing is, that I love you comment carries me so far because then it reminds me that I'm still here and even though I'm going through what I'm going through, I'm still here for a reason and to keep fighting. So Amen. I just want to, so thank you to my family, to my friends. I love you all so much for everything. And I'm fighting to keep being here. I'm fighting. Right. I'm fighting. Okay. Okay. You're, you're not yeah. going to get up. We've got many kidney warriors watching tonight. Yeah. All right. And I don't want to show my guns on a live broadcast, but I've got some guns too. <laughs> okay. And, you, know, and, you know, if I do that, then all of a sudden I've got a lot of envious people. We don't want that. No. No, <laughs> no but, um, We've got Jonathan saying family support is amazing. And if you have yes. it, be thankful. Imagine going yes. through this alone because there are, yeah. unfortunately, some others that don't have as much support, don't have family. I know some kidney warriors that have come from Mexico and their family is still in Mexico and they're in California alone and they don't have a lot of support. You know, and so there are some, there are also um, family members that don't support their, their, family member that's going through kidney disease it's sad yeah. but i've heard other stories where mm -hmm. they either don't believe they're sick or think that they're mm -hmm. embellished or they think that they're making it up or just don't understand yeah. that they that yeah. they're really sick because you don't look sick i mean come on kidney yeah. warriors tell yeah. me oh boy yeah. have we heard that one a few times yes. <laughs> that line right? gets run by me quite oh a few God. times oh right. yeah yeah so family support is our key is what uh, Mindy's saying, and she's right. And now uh, we've got Nisi saying, we need you, keep fighting. And, uh, you know, and we've got so much, uh, again, I'm going to try to get through these a little bit. It's, I had, she said, I had to read, I had to retire too, too early from a job that she liked. That's too bad. Yeah. Bridget. Um, oh. Thanks for sharing your testimony, Tiffany. Stay positive, girl. We're here. Thank um, you. We've, Lisa to saying, keep fighting, you know, and so we've got many people here that understand what you're going through because they're kidney warriors themselves. Uh, and then we've got people that understand that it's difficult and it's hard and they want to lift you up too. And then she's saying she knows it and she gets that, right? She's heard that before right, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. So anybody else who's tired of hearing you don't look sick, please comment below because we you know, in the kidney disease community, that is something that is reprehensible. We don't want to hear that, all right? Because what is a sick person supposed to look like? Who's look kidney? like. Because we just said, we just talked about how yeah. even though everyone has it and we all share, anybody who has it shares that commonality, but it affects people, even though in a similar way, every story and journey is different. So if it can 
make someone feel you know a different then you may not even look sick and that it doesn't mean you don't have kidney disease what and, if you don't I was going to say, Jared, I think a, a scary um, statistic is that 37 million Americans in the United States have chronic kidney disease and nine out of 10 they people die. don't even know. They don't even it. know. Oh, it. my. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't think I didn't really know. I kind of got hit with the, oh, you need to start dialysis soon thing because I didn't look sick. I, right, didn't, right. I was feeling it a little bit, but I didn't look sick. So right. there was no emphasis on fixing it. All right. So I definitely know that line. And, and you, you can't really mentally prepare when, when you walk into a wall for something like oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's something that Tiffany and I both incurred. And, you know, and when it hits you that fast, you're, you're ill prepared for it. Hmm? Amen. It, 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 it it's uh the then the the really uh instrumental thing that I, that I love hearing tonight is that you've been able to you've had a similar experience and that you're again you you two are connected in this and i yeah. man i'm thankful yeah. for that i'm yeah. thankful for that for tiffany that you that you're able to say hey listen you know man i had a similar experience or i i also had diabetes you know and th there's a yeah. there's so much that can be said for someone who totally gets what you're going through. And, you know, it's, that's why I really push for comments from other kidney warriors. Please continue to comment. If you, if you know what it's like to have insomnia or if you know what it's like to not, oh, if, yeah. if you felt yeah. the cramps, okay. If you felt Both the cramps, cramps, okay, please comment below. Uh, but you know what uh, Jonathan's saying, statistics are mind blowing and staggering and they can be. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to be able to, to, to um, get her the support that she needs. And that's what I'm also finding staggering, okay? Is that sometimes in an interview, I'm able to get to, I'm able to ask questions, uh, but I'm, I'm getting so many comments here, ladies, that it's hard for me to, to, to ask a question that, that maybe um, I, you said something that maybe sparked something that I wanted to ask because I'm there's so much support during this broadcast right now. And that's staggering to me. And I love that because again, the more comments, Thank you. yes, please continue to comment everybody because the more comments will equate to more engagement, the more engagement, the more visible this broadcast is on Facebook and mm -hmm. please don't Thank be stingy. You. Share this, please. Um, we've got Mindy saying I was at 50% found out going into ER after going for a pinched nerve. Wow. And, you know, so many stories are like that where they don't even know they have kidney disease. Even Jen yeah. just said that. And yeah. then they, they go in for something and they find out, you know, during that process that they have kidney disease. Uh, Nicole Anderson, I remember when you got your kidney and I can't wait to be there for Tiffany when she gets hers. Um, Thank you, Deja. So, you know, we've got some wonderful, wonderful comments here. And again, I, the, the support is staggering. I love the comments, everybody, because this is going to help her broadcast tonight, get shown more. Okay. You know, thanks, Bella. Never let them see you sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I didn't look sick yes. or carry myself, like even when I felt like yes. crap, but I but she says she put her uniform on. My hair was paid. Never let them see you sweat. And so she did a, a great job of, of maybe covering it up. You know, it, yeah. She says, yeah. So sometimes that happens too, is you, you want to look your best and sometimes they don't see it that way as well. But it says, uh, Tiffany, have you ever had gut, ever had gut? So I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. Um, I don't know if they mean like if you've had, um, probably gout. I guess probably gout. means gout. gout. Probably there gout. No, gout. I have never had gout. I hope to never oh have gout. Um, I'm like I, I've been working so much on trying to uh, keep myself as healthy as possible. Uh, like I said, the liquid diet's a little restricting. I'm working on that, but I just want to get my body as ready as possible so that whenever someone does bless yes. me with a with a second chance at life that I go in at my very best. So I haven't had gout. I hope to not yeah. have gout. I'm oh working on keeping myself together so I don't experience gout. I hope not. I hope not. I, I have family members who have gout. 
And I tell you what, they get flare ups and they are they're in bed because it's so painful. Yeah. Yeah. Very painful. Gout is painful. So, you know, um, Jonathan saying stay in the fight, you know, um, and, you know, putting up the gloves because that's what we got to do. So we've uh, again, I'm 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 very thankful for all the support. And just like um, Nisi saying, please share, share, share. Okay, Sharon, sharing is Karen. Karen is Sharon. Yeah. They're the same woman. So please share. Okay, Sharon is Karen, and Karen is Sharon. So please continue to share this so that we can help this beautiful woman tonight, Tiffany Joseph. Um, the, the more thanks for watching, Tom. We've got uh, Tom watching. He's a kitty warrior himself. Um, we've got so many comments here and so many kidney warriors that are commenting uh, that that really seriously, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the support that we're getting in the comments and I'm very thankful for everyone who's chiming in and I'm, I'm thankful for everybody watching because the more we're getting people involved with the comment section, the more we can set this on fire like a firecracker. That's what we want to do. Okay. We want to yeah. get this going. Let's get it lit. All right. Um, beautiful is what she's saying. Um, here we go. I'm bringing it up. Beautiful. Um, and Debbie, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Debbie is uh, Nick uh, Sauter's uh, wife. Thanks for watching. Um, it's Donna's uh, sister, sister, sister. I almost thought I would got that wrong, but they are sisters. Sister, sister. Yeah, sisters. They're sisters, and Nick is her si- brother-in-law. And then, uh, and then she's saying hi to Debbie. So they're watching together. <laughs> it's a family affair. This is a family awesome. event it's, here. <laughs> right. You know, and, and Steve saying great show, Jared, but I didn't make this happen. Guess what? Okay. All of you guys made this great, this show great. Good. Okay. Uh, you know, with Tiffany and Tiffany and I getting together and planning this, and then she asked to bring on Jen Benson and then all of your comments tonight have led this to be a great show because, okay, we can make this even more instrumental, okay, for Tiffany, is that we need to continue to share this, okay? Even after the show is done, okay, tomorrow morning, okay, I encourage everybody as much as possible to start a watch party. We can start a watch party in a Facebook group. We can start it on our own page. Just go to any of the... And anywhere where you found this broadcast, whether it's on the Warriors Quest Facebook page or the Urban Health Outreach Media Facebook page, or maybe you've seen the, this broadcast on one of the, the Facebook groups where I've shared it, or maybe even on my own feed, wherever, okay? Click on share when you do that. It's easier on a laptop, but even on a mobile device, you may have that option of watch mm-hmm. party come up. Start a watch party. Get more people to watch this that maybe haven't had the opportunity to watch it tonight. And let's keep this going in a very positive direction. All right, so we've got – I'll be waiting for a transplant for seven years. My son tried to donate, but, I, but I'm but i O and he is A. So, you know, the paired exchange program. Okay, yeah, please. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. uh, Bella's just saying it just, it just goes to show you, Tiffany, how many of us who have survived and we still thrive. Okay, she yeah. says that she'll be at her 16th year, March 4th of next year. And wow. uh, Yes. Okay, and, and, and I help produce um, Bella's show. She has a show called Sisters Against Kidney Disease. We do that every yeah. every yeah. other week on a Monday night. That's fantastic. And, yes, and... And good luck to you. It will happen for you. Keep the faith. So Debbie's sharing her words of encouragement as well. Thank you. Yeah. So thanks, Debbie. So we've we've got so many people. Even Jonathan again is saying, uh, you know, showing his guns and saying you got this. And so we've got a lot of support tonight. And I'm again, I'm I'm thankful. I mean, I'm I'm very humbled with the amount of support that we're getting tonight. Yeah. And I'm thankful not for me, but I'm thankful for Tiffany because of what we can do to help her. I'm thankful that we're, we're giving this so much engagement with the comments. Um, I'm thankful for the shares that you're doing so that we can get this word out there. So again, yeah. okay, the, the donor blood type is O, okay? It doesn't have to be O or O, neg- o positive or O negative. The, the RH factor is, is not a factor. Um, and then if you're not blood type O or o, o plus or O negative, 
and you're a different blood type, please click. Okay, call the hospital number at the Columbia yeah. University Hospital anyway, because we can get you started with the paired exchange program. And so yeah. it can speed up the process for Tiffany. It can. Definitely. So, so we've got the hospital information there. Jen says that she, that she's she's been connected at that hospital, which is again the common ground you guys share is just amazing. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Um We've got some more comments here. Such a great community here. We are, and we're going to continue to be strong for everyone. Um, Tracy is a kidney transplant recipient. Just recently got her gift of life, August 28th. Shout out wow, to Tracy. Wow, congrats. Yes. All right. And the cool thing about this story is that Tracy was trying to have her 19-year-old son um, donate to her, and th there were some issues, and it Initially, it just wouldn't work, and I'm not going to get into the whole story, but it finally, they were able to get this to, to work where her, yes. uh, her son was able to donate. So I'm so thankful awesome. for you, Tracy. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, it is. So, um, so you know, let's get you linked up with Bella. Um, okay. You know, she's a great support. I'll, uh, I'll you know, with her uh, permission, I'll forward uh, any information I have from Bella to you ladies. Please. Okay. Yeah, and we've got your so love, Tiffany and Jen. I hope you both can feel that, and I feel it. Yeah. How How do you feel right now, Tiffany, with everything that we I have? I am so. I feel so blessed right now. Honestly, I didn't know that there was this much love and support in the community. Like I, I had the support from my family, but from people who seem like strangers, I realized that they're not exactly strangers. We're all kind of in this together and I, I appreciate this. This is such a blessing. I I prayed to God before before I even got onto this broadcast and I, I could never imagine the love that he and support that he sent my way tonight. And I just want to say thank you all so much. You have no idea what this means to me, what hope this gives me that maybe someone will see this and be my hero. Yeah. Well said. You know, and one of the in fact, um, Tiffany, one of the things that uh, that you said just now, you used a word called you said hope. And yeah. one of the, one of my absolute favorite things that that I like to do is to give hope because yeah. there's there's not any more powerful word in any language than hope. Definitely. And when you have hope, OK, you have a, a smile on your face like you have now. When you have hope, okay, you can believe in a brighter future. When you have yeah. hope, you can envision having a, a more extended life with your loved ones. When you have hope, even when it's hard and life digs at you, when you have hope, you know that you can, you have belief because of that hope that you can make it through another day. Yeah. Hope is so powerful. And I want everyone to continue to give you that hope because I know that together, okay, if we can get this message out there, that we can continue to not only have hope, not only to pray and have faith, but hopefully someone will do more than just give you hope. They'll apply to be a living kidney donor for you and give and you give me life. Yes. Life. Second chance. Yes. Second chance. Yes. And it's how gonna be a baby, let me tell you. How beautiful will that be when that hope creates something so beautiful, like a, another lease on life, a new gift of life like that? How beautiful would that be? That would be amazing. A dream come true at this point. Well, it can be more than a dream, and I believe that. I honestly do. I, I, I firmly believe that God hears what we're saying now. I know that he wants us to come together. He wants brothers and sisters from all walks of life to have love for one another. And I know that he wants us to show you love and support. And I know that he knows your struggle. Yeah. I, I am so thankful that I can get your story out there. Thank I'm you for having me. You're very welcome. I, I'm, I'm by far and away the blessed one that can, that can, be overwhelmed by someone who would would accept um, 
my invitation to be on the show and to hear your story. It's touching. Uh, it it touches me, and I'm hoping other people that watch the show tonight feel inspired and touched emotionally like I have. So we're going to end the show. Um, I don't like to, but what I want to do, um, so Steve's asking uh, where she listed it. It's, it's at the Columbia Uni University Hospital, and the number's down at the bottom on the ticker. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask Jen, just to briefly say uh, any shout outs or, or any words of wisdom before we end the show. And then I'm going to give Tiffany this, the same thing. So I'm going to put you solo just briefly. It doesn't have to be long. You can just maybe say two words and say, you know, uh, please share this information. Well, whatever you want it doesn't have to be long. You don't have to feel like it's got to be like a, a 15 minute talk or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just get some shout outs and you know, maybe say something before we end the show, okay? Uh, I would just I would just really like to say thank you so much, Jared, for having both Tiffany and myself on your show. Um, thank you to everyone who has tuned in. And um, if anyone would like to reach out to the Transplant Journey Inc., the website is www.transplantjourney.org. Um, feel free to reach out to myself. Um, the service that we offer is completely free and we are here to provide emotional support and guidance to patients and their family members. And we are here to walk you through all aspects of dialysis and transplant support in any way that we can. And if you would like to help Tiffany in any way whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me at any time. And please consider being an organ donor. And thank you again for having us here. And we really appreciate everything that you've done for us, Jared. This has been an amazing opportunity. We really appreciate it. You're yeah. welcome. You're welcome. So I'm going to put you backstage now. Thanks again for coming on, Jen. I really appreciate it. Uh, God bless you and continue. You know, may God continue to bless you with the transplant journey. I, I put your link up here for while you were talking. You probably saw that. Uh, so anybody will see that in the comments section. Hopefully that's a linkable link or clickable link that they can click on. But thank you thank again. You. You're welcome. Hopefully we, we can continue to work together and, and help everybody we can. Thank you again for coming on tonight. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So just uh, just some shout outs. Uh, maybe some of the loved ones that are watching tonight, you know, yeah. uh, and uh, let, let, let's let's. Let's end this show with a bang because it's been a great show. We've got a lot of support, overwhelming support. Yeah, a overwhelming. lot. Overwhelming, yes. Thank yes, awesome. thank you. I saw, uh, saw a lot of my family members here. Thank you so much. I love you all, my sisters, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles. Um, I, I appreciate that. Everyone that tuned in, thank you so much. My best friends, I saw them too. Both of them, hi. Um, I also want to say uh, just to the potential uh, donor or anyone who's considering to uh, donating to me, um, thank you for even thinking of me. Um, just know that um, if you do consider donating to me, that it's a second chance for me to live out my life, to get my life back, to you be restoring me to a whole person because right now I don't feel as whole as I wish and just thank you everyone thank you so much that that support means so much to me I'm gonna go to sleep hopefully go to sleep tonight and uh, just the love thank you thank you you're welcome man uh thank you everybody for watching tonight um thank you for coming on I'm gonna continue to share this I'm gonna start watch parties and we're, we're going to get this out to the masses, okay? I imagine masses to be as, as full as football stadiums used to be before the pandemic, okay? And I want mm -hmm. to get this out to thousands of people, and I can envision this, all right? I've had some of these broadcasts where we get – we it just sets it just gets set on fire, okay. And I've had a recent broadcast that reached over eight thousand people within a week, and then we wow. had uh, and we this can catch on fire, and I want it to, and I'm I know that we can just light this like a firecracker, give you the hope that 
that needs to be ignited. Yeah. Get this spark, okay? Because you know what they they can they can try to to cut out the flicker, but they can't kill the flame. All right, we're well, gonna make we're gonna make this inflamed. We're gonna get this out there to as many people as, as possible, and they can't stop us because nothing can stop God. Nothing will stand in his way, and we're going to make sure that love conquers, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Jared. Thank you for this opportunity. I, I can't thank you enough. I can't. You're welcome. All right. God bless you. Have a good evening. I hope you sleep well. No insomnia, all right? I hope. I hope. Okay. All right. <laughs> I pray that. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. So... Uh, I touched the wrong button, then uh, showed how I'm a little, uh, I'm human too, and I touched the wrong button. But I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody for making this show so overwhelmingly successful. Not for me, because the show is not about me. All right? You don't want to see this mug every week, okay? I, I feel sorry for you that you do. But I, I, I'm so thankful because this, this is getting out there for Tiffany. All right. And I'm thankful that we're able to put this informa information out there. I have felt emotional. I have felt stirred. It's been a touching story, heartwarming story. And if you have felt the same way I do within and your heart is swollen, okay, with love for Tiffany Joseph, like mine is, please share this and make sure that we get this to as many people as possible so that someone else who watches this may feel just as inspired, just as touched as I have tonight by her story. And if they do, then hopefully they'll call this phone number down below, Columbia University Hospital, and apply to be a donor. Please do this. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of your many efforts to help this show and for helping Tiffany tonight feel loved, to give her hope, and to make sure that she feels united with this community. Thank you for all of your all of your comments tonight to do that. So thank you very much. All right, God bless you everyone. Continue to share, don't be stingy. Thank you.